So the Battlefront Classic Collection is here and the amount of hype and interest this has brought back to Star Wars games has been pretty crazy to see, but also equally as frustrating. Regardless though, it's here and I have put quite a few hours into it and I have thoughts. I think it's fair to say that it's good, but there are some major issues here and there. And the question many people want to know is, is it worth it? Well, we're going to go over my thoughts on the classic collection in this video and whether or not I think it is worth your money for a trip down memory lane. Now, before we do, I just want to quickly mention this video sponsor, Owner Saber. They're running some specials this month and they've got a massive range of premium lightsabers at a super high quality. You can get a free scabbard with any lightsaber purchase. Simply add the scabbard and your saber to your cart and the scabbard is automatically made free at checkout. Now, if you're not interested in a free scabbard, then use code Aussie to get 20% off any lightsaber you buy. And they also have a new addition to their store, the Galactic Flame Lightsaber Lighter. As you can see, this quality is just insane and it's pretty badass. So if you want to pick one up, again, the link will be in the description below. If you do head on over to their website, remember, use code Aussie for 20% off. All right, so the Battlefront Classic Collection let's talk about it now it's fair to say people were pretty interested in this re-release of the two classic battlefront games coming together in one package the amount of people talking about it has been pretty crazy a lot of people i know in my own circles have actually been talking about it and have been playing it and that doesn't happen very often when it comes to star wars games nowadays most people i know simply just don't care but this time around it actually caught their attention so it's clear that these battlefront games are popular at least based from my small sample size and of course the numbers this game seems to be generating. But that's irrelevant because is the classic collection actually worth it? Well, <laughs> it's complicated, okay? Now, is this the definitive way to play these two games if you're on the latest console? Absolutely, no doubt about it. If you're on console, then this is probably going to be worth it for you. But if you're on PC, that's where it becomes a little more debatable because you've been able to pick these games up fairly cheap for a long time. Now, the classic collection does offer a few things. It offers Kit Fisto and Asajj Ventress as heroes. Also some slightly touched up graphics. Now, it does still look pretty rough, but after all, these games are like 20 years old and the amount of jank you'd expect from a 20 year old game, that's exactly what you're gonna get here. So if you're going into this expecting some massive overhaul of the two games, then you are going to be left disappointed. They have taken the game to the next level, yes, but it's not going to knock your socks off with an abundance of new content or anything. Aspire have essentially put the two games together in one package, tidied up the graphics a little bit, made the game a little more stable, at least they kind of did, uh, we'll get to that. They've also optimized it for modern consoles and PC hardware and allowed you to join massive multiplayer lobbies. So that's about it. Now, if you have strong nostalgia for this game, then I think you're going to have a lot of fun with it. It's great jumping back into particularly Battlefront 2, running around on maps like Coruscant and Mustafar, playing as Mace Windu. Like, it is no doubt a little nice slice of nostalgia that anyone who played these games growing up is probably going to enjoy. But if you never played the games growing up and are simply looking for a game that will fill the void as Star Wars games are just about non-existent nowadays, then yeah, maybe this one won't exactly do that. I know a lot of you guys are simply looking for a Battlefront 2 replacement at this stage, and I'm sorry to tell you, but I don't think the classic collection is that replacement. The nostalgia here is strong, but once it wears off, the game's age does show and it can be pretty frustrating to play. Now, for some people, that could be a part of the charm and why they love it. For others, it could probably get pretty annoying. Now, if you're going to jump into any single player mode, the game does run extremely well, and you're not really going to run into many problems. Things go relatively smooth, and it's about what you'd expect from a modern re-release in that aspect. But multiplayer was basically the main hook of this re-release. At least it was for me, and I know it was for many others. And like I said earlier, I don't think this is very good. The reason I say it is the multiplayer here does not run very well at all, at least from what I've experienced in the few hours I have played. Now, I've also spoken to some other creators and they've said the same thing. There's random bugs, the enemy AI are dumb as hell, and the game has some very strange camera glitches that are pretty much going to give you an aneurysm. 
Now, I didn't have anything that really broke it to the point where I couldn't play. And when things ran smooth, it was fun. The problem is it's just really rough. Now, Aspire have seemingly been pretty silent on whether or not they actually plan to fix or improve the buggy elements of the multiplayer, at least by the time of recording, which is disappointing. Like the multiplayer was what people were most excited for with this re-release. Again, people really are dying for multiplayer Star Wars these days, given that Battlefront 2 is unfortunately dead, despite the community trying their best to keep it alive for four years. And it is really irritating that the one thing people really wanted out of this re-release is the one thing that is pretty well chalked. I went on Steam and checked out the reviews for the Classic Collection, and I gotta tell you, it's not good, like at all. This game is getting absolutely slaughtered because they botched the multiplayer. Like the one thing people really wanted is the one thing that doesn't work. Virtually meaning that apart from a couple heroes and slightly cleaner graphics, it's essentially not worth it especially if you have it already on PC. Again, if they manage to sort the multiplayer out and really refine it, it could probably be worth it. But the game in its current state, at least on PC, I'm going to say it is just flat out, straight up, not worth it. I paid $50 Australian for this game. And honestly, based off my experience, I think $15 would have been more on par with the final result. Again, the reason most people were willing to pay the extra money for this re-release was the multiplayer, and it doesn't work properly, so it's hard to say the game is worth it. Like, some of these reviews are absolutely brutal, man. As of right now, the multiplayer, otherwise known as the only reason to buy this product if you already own the original games, is entirely unplayable, making this game a waste of money until that issue is fixed. Disappointing. As of now, the game is dead on arrival. Multiplayer completely broken. Might as well play the original. So let me get this straight. You launched this game with only three servers on PC, knowing full well people only bought it for that sole reason. Peak comedy gold, easy refund, what a disappointment. Update, after two hours, they finally launched the servers and they are terrible. Horrible ping, stuttering, and by tomorrow cheaters will be rampant. So yeah, fair to say people are not happy with this game on PC. Having played the multiplayer for myself, formulating my own opinion, I'm not really finding anything in these negative reviews that I disagree with. These don't seem to be biased. Everything they're saying, I've pretty much experienced firsthand myself. So this isn't a review bombing situation. It seems pretty well justified. Now, I will say I haven't played the game on console and most of the negativity I'm seeing surrounding this release is regarding the PC version. If you've had a different experience on console, please let me know your experience in the comments. I did speak to another YouTuber earlier today who did play it on console and said that he had a lot of problems with the multiplayer, but that's the only real complaint I've heard from the console side. Like when I was playing this game on PC, one person in game chat during one of my games called the game a scam, which you should always take game chat in video games with a grain of salt, but that was the very first comment in the game chat that I saw which, you know, could really be indicative of the actual state of this release. So to summarize, is the Battlefront Classic Collection actually worth it? Honestly, as a PC player myself, I'm going to have to say no, not until they fix the multiplayer. Even then, I still think this game is a little expensive for what you get. Even if the multiplayer was working as intended, these are 20 year old games, and I think the price tag doesn't match what you get. And the fact that the main selling point is broken on at least one of the major platforms and seemingly some people again have said console too, that's a big concern. Now look, if you don't care about the multiplayer and you just want a nostalgia trip with slightly better graphics, then sure, go for it. But unfortunately, I can't sit here with a straight face and say this game is worth it. I was really hoping this was going to be a home run and be this massive success so they can see how big the Battlefront franchise is and how hungry we are for another one. But Aspire dropped the ball on this one, I'm afraid. If you're enjoying it, then the power to you. But I'm just trying to be transparent here and save you guys some money. And the reviews are pretty telling and they're not lying. So guys, that about does it for this video. Not really the video I wanted to make regarding this release, but again... I'm not just going to sugarcoat it for you guys. If it's if it's not good, I'm just going to say it's not good. Hopefully, they can fix the multiplayer. But until then, this is a bit of a yikes. But let me know your thoughts on the Classic Collection below. Have you played it? Have you checked it out for yourself? Comment below. Remember to check out Owner Saber through the links below and use code Aussie at checkout to get yourself a discount. 
So that's pretty much it for me today. Thank you for watching and uh, yeah, take care.